it turns out an illegal capacity of hard drinking Bears fans don't like it when they get cut off by a magical fairy. There's never enough time when I come to Chicago. Never enough time. Too many things to do. I mean, why doesn't everyone live there? Oh, the, <laughs> the cold weather, I get it. Wow, you have a girlfriend? You and I agreed that we should be dating other people. Becky's raising a baby and dealing with co-parenting. Crazy drunks ruin everything. I mean, I should know that. You've had to overcome a lot as that character. She uh, w has was struggling with alcoholism. Um, and last season, at the end of last season, she finally got sober. What are you doing with my pictures? I'm getting rid of the ones where you guys were fat. Those are the only ones where we look happy. How have you adjusted to what's happening now, the Connors as opposed to Rosancha? I mean, we're still stuck in Lamford. <laughs> it's funny, there was like a line that we shot last week where Dan says like, anybody here plan on being a success? <laughs> you know, raise your hand and everyone's, no one can raise their hand. <laughs> Somebody grabbed my left wing so I had to get rough. You know in the cartoons when you hit someone with a frying pan, their face becomes the shape of the pan? In real life, it's just teeth and blood everywhere. Talk to me about uh, Halloween in Evanston as you were growing up. Was was it a big deal? I remember, I think I was dressed as a clown and I had like an inflatable shoe and I'm walking through Evanston trick-or-treating and it's rain is <laughs> pouring on me. When the bears are collapsing at the end of the game, we ask the almighty for a swift and merciful end. I just want to say I love you, Chi-Town. Um, I'm sorry about the bears. We got the hawk season coming up, and I'll see you around Christmas time. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. <laughs> hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.